Since the beginning of this war, the Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorist organizations have been systematically abusing civilian population and infrastructures in Gaza for their terrorist activities against the State of Israel. This includes Hamas' massive network of underground tunnels which go under towns, hospitals, mosques, schools, and UN facilities, and are used by terrorists to command attacks, store weapons, and hold Israeli hostages captive. It also includes hospitals across the Gaza Strip, which have been repeatedly infiltrated and weaponized by Hamas and Islamic Jihad, and where terrorists, tunnel shafts were found. Increasingly, in recent months, Hamas has focused on exploiting school buildings, often where civilians are sheltering inside, to use them as military facilities, command and control centers, for storing weapons, and to execute terror attacks. Over the last few weeks, our intelligence has been closely monitoring an active Hamas and Islamic Jihad military facility, where approximately two dozen Hamas and Islamic Jihad militants were operating. The names of 19 of these terrorists operating in this compound were published by us today. We also have intelligence indications that the terrorist Ashraf Judah, Islamic Jihad's brigade commander of the central camps, was at the compound. This military facility was embedded inside the Al Tabain school building in Gaza City. After we received clear intelligence of the threat posed by these terrorists and in accordance with international humanitarian law, we took numerous steps to mitigate the risk to civilians, including using aerial surveillance prior to the strike and selecting very precise munitions to avoid civilian casualties. Early this morning, the IDF conducted a precision strike against the terrorists in one specific building of the compound, an area that, according to our intelligence, no women and children were present. You can see in a video published by us today that the compound is still intact and that there is no significant cratering or damage to the main structure of the compound. This pattern of systematic abuse of schools for military activities by Hamas and Islamic Jihad endangers both Gazans and Israeli civilians. It must be condemned by the international community. Following the strike, the Hamas-run government information office in Gaza published an unverified casualty count, which was then shared around the world. These figures do not distinguish between combatants and non-combatants, and they do not match the information held by the IDF. Yichya Sinwar, the mastermind behind October 7th, the day where Hamas brutally massacred innocent Israelis and started this war, and the man last week appointed as Hamas political leader, stated himself that a higher Palestinian death count helps Hamas in its war goals. Where Israel sees harm to civilians as a tragedy, Hamas sees harm to civilians as a strategy. The IDF will continue to operate in accordance with international humanitarian law in order to dismantle Hamas military capabilities and in order to bring back home all our 115 hostages, men, women, children, and the elderly, who are being held in captive for over 300 days in horrific conditions, we are operating to create the conditions to bring them back home. We call on the international community to do everything they can to fulfill this goal. 